With 80 million worldwide book sales and 8 movie adaptations under his belt, author Nicholas Sparks is hot property in Hollywood. The latest Sparks adaptation to hit the big screen is Safe Haven, a romantic flick with a twist, which sees Julianne Hough and Josh Duhamel take on the lead roles of Katie and Alex. Mysterious Katie has fled her past and ended up in a sleepy seaside town in North Carolina where she meets widower Alex. The actors visited Dublin to promote the film where Josh spoke about what attracted him to the role. What really drew me to it was that it was different and that it was as much a thriller as it was a, a romantic movie that you would expect from Nicholas Sparks. It's, it's a bit darker, a little more dangerous than what I think people will expect. Do you know this woman? He's here. I really felt like I was hired as an actress on this film, you know, I, I think that uh, I, not to downplay the other films, I had the best, best time doing those films and it's fun, I mean it's over the top and it's, you know, an entertaining thing but this was, you know, a departure in, in the um, direction that I, that I want to go and I want to head in. Josh and Julianne are terrific in these roles. They have great chemistry. I thought their performances were incredibly strong. I think that, to me, you know, when you watch those characters, they are Katie and Alex. They're very authentic. They're very genuine. Their relationship feels very real. And that's the best, uh, that's the best thing you can hope for when you're making a film. Did you hear about his wife? Passed away a few years ago. I'm happier with you. I always loved the story. I felt like it was a, a, as much a, a, like I said, a thriller. And I loved, actually wanted to play the bad guy when I first read it, <laughs> but they wouldn't let me. So I talked a lot with Lassa and Nicholas about messing the guy up a bit. You know, he's a guy who's trying to raise these two kids on his own, who's you know, probably hasn't dealt with the, uh, the grief of losing his wife as well as he should have, and as a result, his kids are, are, are drifting. And so, yeah, he's, not a, he's a guy who's just trying to figure it out. Look up. Josh, look up. Lass is a terrific director. He's an actor's director. He's going to draw out great performances. And because we really wanted to do both, wanted to do two different types of movies in one, you, know, you need someone who's been around the block, right? You need someone who's also going to be able to maximize the actor's performances each and every scene. And Lass is just terrific at that. He has his way of, we call it Lassa magic. You guys have amazing chemistry on screen. Did that help a lot? Was, I was the first one that was, <laughs> yeah. that was cast in this movie, so I got to see all the different girls that came uh, auditioning for it and probably had more experience than Julianne, but Julianne came, there was something raw about what she had and there was, you know, as beautiful as she is, there was, a, there was something broken that she had that this girl needed to have to, to really execute the character. So uh, ultimately she was, she sort of stood out for that reason and not only that, I'd only met her one time before we started shooting and I always felt like I knew her in some way. And it was really hard for me to connect it was really hard to meet somebody too. like Obviously. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, we heard your good news this week. You announced that you and Fergie are having your first baby. Are you yes. Excited to be a dad. Yeah, it's it's uh, that's what it's about for me. You know, this is what we've wanted for a long time, and and um, you know, it's it, until you actually go through it. And I think anybody with a, with children would probably understand that. I never did until I was in there looking at the ultrasound, going, "Oh my God, I made that." Here with me.